It is a great pleasure to meet you all today. I am Admiral Kano, Chief of Staff, Joint Staff, Japan Self-Defense Forces. I am delighted that this is the first time for Japan Ministry of Defense to participate in the Raishin Dialogue. Naturally, this is also the first time for general and flag officers of Japan, India, United States, and Australia to lead a session of Raishin Dialogue together. I am truly excited to speak at uh, such a historic opportunity. Nowadays, there are various factors of instability in the global security environment, and these are becoming increasingly acute. Within the global security situation, there is a growing risk that unrest or sec security problem in a single country or region could quickly develop into a challenge or a destabilizing factor for the entire international community. Looking now at the theme of this panel, maritime security, the rule of law based on the international laws, including the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, plays an important role in maintaining maritime order. However, recent years have seen increasing moves and attempts to unilaterally change the status quo based on unique claims. In addition, issues such as piracy, illegal fishing, and drug transactions are increasingly threatening the status, a stable use of the global commons. The inflow of international terrorist groups can also become a destabilizing factors for the region. These challenges are especially obvious in the Indo-Pacific region, and there is a concern that the sovereignty and the national interest of the countries involved could further complicate and escalate the situation. Japan now possesses the free and open Indo-Pacific strategy. This strategy is based on the understanding that the key for stability and the prosperity of the international community is a dynamics that is created by combining the Pacific and the Indian Ocean, the two free and open oceans, and that the free and open rules-based maritime order is a cornerstone of the peace, stability, and prosperity of the international community. This region, spanning between the Indian and the Pacific Oceans, will likely become the center of global prosperity. Therefore, promoting peace and stability of this region is in the best interest of the international community as a whole. We need to promote common values to ensure a stable and prosperous in the Pacific so that this region can continue to thrive. These common values include free and open economies, the rule of law, freedom of navigation, making open, transparent, and non-exclusive use of infra infrastructure. This is why Prime Minister Abe advocates the three principles for the rule of law at sea, make claims based on international law, not resort to force or caution to drive these claims, and settlement of disputes by peaceful means. With this in mind, I, direct, I would now like to touch upon some of the initiatives undertaken by the Japan Self-Defense Forces to realize a stable and prosperous in the Pacific as well as open and stable seas. The first point is joint training and exercises. The Japan Self-Defense Forces takes various training and exercise opportunity to strengthen cooperative relationship and build confidence with other countries. One excellent example still fresh in everyone's memory is the Japan 
India, U.S. maritime exercise, Marabao, held here in India last July. In addition to this, we participate in the U.S.-led Pacific Partnership and the Proliferation Security Initiative maritime interdiction exercises with Australia and the United States, as well as exercises under the framework of ADMM Plus Experts Working Group, in which all of our four countries participate. Through this, we promote confidence building and mutual trust among different militaries and contribute to the peace and stability of the region. The second point is counter piracy. For coastal nations, it is crucially important to strengthen the basic rules based on order, including the freedom of navigation, and to ensure safety of maritime traffic. Maritime traffic. In order to ensure the maritime order and the safety of the sea, JSDF has been deploying destroyer and patrol aircraft off the coast of Somalia and in the Gulf of Aden since 2009. Since 2013, we have also been a part of the Combined Task Force 151 to respond to the issue of piracy and has engaged in counter-piracy activities with participating countries in a coordinated manner. As you may know, the number of piracy occurrences per year has been maintained low thanks to such international efforts and also to the open and stable seas. The third point is the capacity building assistance and defense equipment and technology cooperation. In the Indo-Pacific region today, national sovereignty and the rule of law continue to be challenged by the range of criminal activities, including those by non-state actors such as terrorist groups, along with piracy and illegal fishing. While many countries are tackling these issues, one area that has come into focus as an effective way to maintain maritime order is the enhancement of maritime domain awareness. And the Japan Ministry of Defense, Self-Defense Forces, engaged in activities to support the region with MDA enhancement. The transfer of Japan Maritime Self-Defense Forces, TC-90s, to the Philippines is a successful example. This program includes not only the transfer of aircraft itself, but also the cooperation in pilot training and maintenance support to the Philippines. The government of Japan as a whole also assists with capacity enhancement in this field, including by provide, providing patrol vessels to Asian countries. Asian countries, we believe that such an effort will help coastal nations to develop capabilities with, in turn, will bring greater stability to the region. These are just some of what JSDF is doing for peace and stability of the Indo-Pacific region. We are confident that such effort will go a long way to contributing to the peace and stability of the region. As the international community faces a time of significant change, the Pacific and the Indian Ocean are fusing dynamically as free, open, and prosperous seas. We have a lot of, at stake in the peace and stability of this region. To enable the international community to benefit from the fruit of prosperity as a whole, cooperation between Japan, Ind India, Australia, and the United States is very important for the global community. Please let me close, close my remarks today by expressing my resolve to work activi actively on various security challenges in concert with the international community and to further strengthen our relationship.